Hello, all. Um, this is HR Dominator, um, also known as Mark. Um, this is my DJI Flame Wheel F550. Um, I had that's the only thing DJI that I have here. <laughs> um, I had a, another multi-copter uh, HKY650 that I was powering with uh, Turnigy Plush 18 amp ESCs and these motors SK3 28 um, 28 something let's see, let me see, let me see, let me see. 28, 26, I think, something like that. Um, motors and speed control. And I hadn't flashed the um, speed control, so they, uh, I had it set for a really high uh, P gain, and the motors quit, like 50 feet in the air, motors quit. And uh, that was the end of the um, Scorpion. Uh, well, it broke the landing gear. And then I repaired that and uh, was testing it again and it did it again. And, uh, you know, after hearing everyone say, oh, the Turnigy Plush are just so great for multi-copters, and I was kind of puzzled, why is it uh, failing then? Um, so I went ahead and uh, went online and found BL Heli and uh, had to get an Adreno. Um, set up because this has a cell lab chip in it not a oh, what is that the other one that was in the older plushes and are in a lot of the speed controls that the Simon K uh, firmware uses so since I couldn't use Simon K I had to like I said get the Adreno I got an Adreno Uno version 3 from Radio Shack. I could have gotten it from Hobby King, but I really wanted to do it this weekend, so I paid $35 for it. I could have got it from Hobby King for $11, but then I have to wait like a week and a half to get it, even with EMS shipping. So I saved the extra 20 bucks money well spent to get it. But uh, yeah, I uh, had to actually put on well, each ESC I put a servo connector because it has a three wire connection to the Adreno and as you can see there's an extra servo lead a small one on each one this one it, yeah, it's under the wires so there's a small servo connector under each one and I had to flash a new firmware, which I got a uh, Turnigy Plus, well, Turnigy Plus 18 amp uh, firmware for multi-copter. And uh, I must say it's night and day. Um, this thing hovers really smoothly. I can actually hold an altitude, which is just crazy. Um, it wouldn't do it at first. Uh, it wouldn't hold altitude for anything. Uh, it was either all or nothing. You're either climbing or you're landing. No hovering. But now, um, works just fine. Um, I don't get any stuttering, um, no oscillations. Well, that was with P tuning, uh, tuning your P and your I gains. Uh, I'm running a KK, KK2 board. Um, and I know some people were saying you have to rubber band mount these in order to get good stability. Um, I'm getting good stability then without rubber banding it. Um, I am using a, a gel um, mount though. Um, it's from a, a line. And that seems to work really good. But um, it shows no instability problems, no drifting, nothing like that. Um, I'm using a uh, three a three S um, five thousand milliamp battery pack gives me thirteen minutes of flight time. Um, these are gym gym fan 
um, props. Um, I love them. They're durable. You can see this one has tasted dirt. Um, of course, these were on the Scorpion Copter when it crashed. And when it crashed, it went tail first, which was beautiful. Because uh, you could just see the whole tail crumple. The tail was the tail was very fragile anyway. You can see it just crumple and then breaking props left and right. But some of them survived, like half of them survived. Um, my flame wheel has only crashed because I uh, attempted to use this yard as an obstacle obstacle course. This is my grandmother's backyard. Used it as an obstacle course. And uh, yeah, <laughs> certain spaces it just not gonna fit through. But uh, it uh, works good. Um, I also have the little light, the little monitor, as you can see, monitors very well. Um, and it works great using a free sky eight channel uh, a DAR2 receiver uh, and also Hobby King sells this really cool uh, heat shrink that uh, has all of your uh, labels you need right on the heat shrink so I'm using those uh, like I said these are my Turnigy plushes and we're having some sort of alarm. I think that's because it's um, dropping below voltage. Um, below the voltage I set on the um, KK2 board. So, um, no, the speaker keeps coming unmounted. I gotta we use another tape. This is just double sided tape. And uh, it didn't work so good. Actually, I, I used it on the Scorpion Copter, so yeah, I do have to replace that. Can't leave trash on here. Um, so yeah. Oh, and the landing gear is a <laughs> T-Rex 600 landing gear. Um, that little mishap with the with the um, with the flame wheel earlier, where it kind of cracked, where it did crash, um, actually hit hard enough and it broke the landing gear. But that landing gear had been beat up. It, had, it survived a lot of uh, T-Rex 600 crashes. So yeah, they broke. So, but still, works great even without this front part. They were really big looking, but now they kind of fit. So not too worried about that. Um, if you notice, when I strapped down my ESCs, strapped them down by the wires. Not the ESC itself. Um, you know, I don't know if a lot of hobbyists are like me, but when you use zip ties, sometimes you just want to test and see how strong you are. Yeah, you don't want to do that with your ESC, though. Um, so, uh, <laughs> I like to strap it down by the um, wires. And the second strap is just to strap down the uh, motor connectors. And uh, I have the extension set for this, um, which I'm going to actually put bigger motors because I uh, have a Rebel TI that I plan on taking pictures with. So uh, actually, gonna I'm either going to build my own landing gear or I'm going to buy one. I'll probably just buy one because, well, I don't know. I may build one. It may it may not be cheaper to build one but I can get it to the specifications that I personally need so I may do that uh, of course it would be faster just to buy one uh, so that I can mount it up and uh, I may end up getting a NASA um, GPS module or I can get the uh, I don't know the name of the other one but it's a circular board, but it has GPS and level and stuff on it already. It was like $149. Um, but I, I may get the NASA just because it'll be stable with the uh, GPS positioning and stuff. So I may get that. But uh, um, 
I don't know if you can see, but underneath, under this heat shrink, this heat shrink actually came from some PC wire um, loom that I purchased. It was called Superman. I got it from Performance PCs. And uh, it um, glows under uh, black light. And I got it for a modded computer case I had, but I never used it. And this heat shrink was absolutely perfect size for the ESCs. And I've had that um, cabling for a couple of years. Never used it. Um, came in handy though, used all of it on the ESCs and then I actually had uh, some heat shrink from HeliDirect that came with ESC heat shrink. And it actually fits, this heat shrink is very, very tight. To get on before it was heated up and it takes a lot of heat to uh, actually heat it some of them you can see where i actually burnt it but i singed it i didn't burn it it's singed but uh that works good like i said this has three connections um there's soldering pads on there for ground signal and whatever the red wire is red wire is not power it's something else but uh because um, actually it would be a green wire that would be going to the power but uh, whatever it is it's uh, really really not fun to solder although only, the first one took me like 30 minutes to build the last one took me all of like 2 minutes to solder um, I got progressively faster um, the website I went to had the wrong info though on uh, which pins you use on the Adreno board. Um, on my Adreno board, I couldn't use pins two and three like they said. And then I went to another website and it said use pins three and four. That didn't work. I had to use pins 11 and 12. Um, the signal wire went to 12, The uh, which is for me, since these are JR wires, that was the orange wire went to 12. Red wire went to 11. And of course the brown wire went to the ground and so uh that worked you know like i said flashed uh turner g plus 18 amp multi because uh, you can do main which would be if you were um, i think it's like helicopter esc programming then there's tail which is for um tail gyro programming and then there's a uh, multi and I'm gonna say multi works great um, also you can see I cut the shafts off my uh, sk3 motors uh, I originally cut them because they wouldn't fit in the scorpion um, with the shaft on here they would they would have fit but uh, I think it's better without the shaft anyway so works good you may have seen this one and thought, oh my God, he has an exposed connector. It is not exposed. That is clear heat shrink on top of the factory installed heat shrink that tore. <laughs> um, it's just clear. I got that from Radio Shack when I got the uh, Adreno board. Um, I'm using EC5 connectors because uh, dealing with my T-Rex where I use... Uh, 8, 10, and 12 cell setups, um, I have a lot of EC5 connectors. <laughs> so that's all I use are EC5 connectors. So that's what I'm using now. Um, plus, the way Turnergy does their batteries, you either use EC5s or you use uh, XT90s. Um, XT60s, it's just, it's hard to get in there with a torch. And I can't get my solder and iron hot enough to actually melt it. So I use a little butane torch. And uh, AC5s are wonderful to work with anyway. Um, you may have noticed the LEDs, those all came from Hobby King as well. The ones where you can cut them out in sections of three. These all have, all have sections of nine. There's just a red, red up front, blue on the sides, and then white in the rear. So, uh, plan on scaring the 
neighbors. <laughs> Take this out like one in the morning, creep them out. But uh, of course, this is my uh, JR XP ninety three hundred three, which I got from A Main Hobbies about a year ago. Um, it was the last one they had left, brand new. Um, love it. Beats getting a 9503. I don't have 50 models, so I don't need 50 model memory. It has integrated timer, but as you can see down there, I use a timer too. It's just not integrated. I always have to hit the switch, but don't forget to hit the switch. Um, it has a backlight, which I got from A Pro Hobbies, installed myself as a switch. Here for off. So it's off. Now it's on. Works great. Um, got my uh, these things <laughs> from April Hobbies. This thing from April Hobbies, and this lanyard from April Hobbies. And I have a lot. And, oh, and I got the stand, also from April Hobbies. Of course, that module came from Hobby King. Came with that receiver. And this came from April Hobbies. And it has a lipo step down. So. Well, I guess that will conclude this video. Um, I will have a flight video coming up soon. And uh, I may even have onboard flight footage at some point. Um, I'll put my GoPro on here. Um, but uh, that's when I can get it back. I let a friend use it, and he's still using it. <laughs> so, uh, uh, oh, these props came from RC Dude, uh, who were really cool to work with. Uh, they ship really fast, and uh, really nice. Just don't like the fact that they use packing peanuts. I hate packing peanuts, but. It's whatever. <laughs> um, oh, and also these cables came from Hobby King as well. So that will conclude uh, this video. I hope maybe there was some info in there that you could use. Uh, and uh, any questions or comments, please post them below. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you don't like the video, post the reason why. Uh, I'm open to all criticism. I take nothing personally. So, uh, take care and happy flying.